the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. It's time to shake off the cobwebs and bring back the NAS trucks to one of the more difficult tracks on the circuit for tonight's running of the Driving for Lineman 200 here at Worldwide Technology Speedway, also known as the Gateway. Welcome race fans to the Gander Outdoor Truck Series on McBlam Racing. I'm your commentator and driver of the number 83 South Point Hotel and Casino Chevrolet for Henderson Motorsports, Mikey McBlam. And tonight's challenges are plentiful. Coming to a new track with little experience always makes the rookies nervous. And with the rookie leading in the playoff standings, there is a lot to be nervous about. But only time will tell whether this track will be the gateway to victory lane or to a driver's own personal hell. All right, the field has been set for the driving for Lyman 200 here at the Gateway. Ben Rhodes isn't nearly as fast as expected. He's been struggling all weekend. Kyle Benjamin is going to be our best friend during the race, and Dylan Lupton failed tech inspection, so he's going to start at the back of the field along with us as we crash during qualifying, leaving us to start P31 on the inside lane. Christian Eckes and Brandon Finger will lead this band of hooligans to the line. Let's bring the noise here at Gateway. Already struggling on the start. The outside lane is not the place that you want to be. And Rhodes works to our inside. Gonna try to make something happen from the back. We've got not many laps to get up to the front. Like I said, we crashed during qualifying. No setups this time around from Delta Force Agency. This is all slider loose tight scenario here and I can definitely feel the difference oh boy wow we really overdrove that corner <laughs> really overdrove that corner so one of the problems that we're gonna have here or that I'm gonna have here one of the problems that I have is just remembering which corner is which because each corner is very different. Turns one and two are obviously, you can see on the track map there, very different from three and four. And I often mistake which corner I'm actually heading towards and sometimes I'll break too hard for three and four and then I'll break not enough for one and two. As you saw what we did there as we tried to overdrive. Yeah, we just keep overdriving it. We gotta find a breaking zone at some point. It was fine when we had the driving line on to kind of aid us in that, but now it's all on us during the race here. There's best buddy Kyle. All right, trying to get around the outside here. We're just, it's very slippery up here. If you're out of the groove, it's extremely slippery. Ooh, Benjamin slid up in front of us. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Okay. That was pretty good there. That was pretty good there. All right. Up into P29. Crafton currently leading this race. Matt Crafton started third, so he must have had a big jump on the start there. All right, come on, Joe. Pick a lane or get out of the way. <laughs> 
I'm assuming that's going to be an angry tweet after the race is over. But man, come on, you got to pick a lane. You can't just sit there and run in the middle of the track. And uh, overdrove it again. That's all right. We should be faster than Joe. Ooh, sliding, sliding. So this is also going to be some redemption from a past stream that I had here at this track. Of course, then I was racing on the controller, and obviously the, the feel is very different. But every time I would get under, under braking, every time the car would just turn dead right. Now, I don't have that problem here on the wheel. Right now, I'm the, the, the biggest problem I'm facing is overdriving turns one and two. That is the biggest problem that I'm facing right now and remembering that I'm going to turn one and two. But over time, like, like I was just getting so frustrated with that, with that, that physics error, which I'm, that's exactly what I'm calling it. That's an error. You should not be turning right. You should be cutting dead right under braking. I can understand cutting dead left. Still there? Yep, overdrove that one again. <laughs> uh, somehow we we're we're back here with the back markers, except for Austin Wayne's self. I'm not sure why he's back here. But this is the last lap of the stage. Looks like Matt Kraft is going to win the stage, and we're going to finish possibly 25th. Uh, yep, 25th, finishing the stage. All right, Matt Crafton, Bet, Brett Moffitt, Ross Chastain, Harrison Burt, Grant Edfigur, Johnny Sauter, Friesen, Eckes, Creed, and Ankrum will round out your top 10 for the stage. We're not pinning. We're going to continue to try to play the same strategy as the AI. Keep things fair. Here we go. Green flag. Stage 2 is underway. Let's see how many spots we can pick up here. Austin Wayne self to our outside, Josh Remy right in front of us. Ooh, slow it down, slow it down. Oh boy. <laughs> Inside of Josh Balicki. Inside of Gusty, we've got the straightaway speed. We definitely have the straightaway speed, it's just we gotta figure out these corners. If we don't figure out these corners, we're gonna be in some serious trouble. Managed to protect the inside from Josh Balicki. We're trying to work on Josh Remy here. Crafton running away with the with the lead for right now. Okay, easy. All right. That was a little bit better. That was a little bit better. There's best buddy Clay in front of us. Also, best buddy, Natalie Decker, is also up there. Alright, we're starting to pick it up just a little bit here. The key is not to screw this up going into turn one. I don't want to run these guys wide. Ooh, Remy was really slow. I didn't really have a choice there but to run Clay up the racetrack. He gave us room, though, so thanks you... Best buddy Clay. Sorry, Natalie's kind of holding up this line here. Not mad at it, you know. She's just trying to protect that position. Ooh, slow it down, slow it down. Yeah, see how slow she is through the center of the turn. All right. Working our way around Natalie Decker. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Ah, I still overdrove it a little bit. She's, oh, she's gonna give us a little nudge. Work our way to the work her way to the inside. We're gonna drag race down the back. Ross Chastain is taking over the race lead now. He's taking the lead away from Crafton. Natalie throws it into turn three and four. We're gonna work it on the outside. Try to stay tight to her door as much as we can. And we got the run off turn number four. And we clear her. Three laps to go in the stage. Uh, gotta stop overdriving this turn.
Gotta stop overdriving turn one. I have been told that it's pretty tight on numerous occasions. Turn one is real. Oh, ooh, ooh, loose going into turn three. Can we save it? Oh, we went straight up the racetrack to do so. But we got it. And diamond it back off the corner. Try to not lose too much momentum there. Yeah, so I've been told that turn one is really, turn one and two is really tight. And I can understand that, it's pretty flat. But that's no excuse for me constantly overdriving it. I need to really find a better braking zone here. All right, white flag in the stage, Ross Chastain leads. We're back here in 19th, trying to catch up to this pack up here. It's not terribly far ahead of us. Uh, that's still not good enough. That's still not good enough. We need to get on the brakes a little bit harder. Oh! Caution is out. Age stage, stage ends early. Ross Chastain wins it. Along with Harrison Burton, Brent Moffitt, Crafton, Sauter, Friesen, Edfinger, Eckes, Creed, and Lupton round out the top ten. We're going to go ahead and pit with everybody else. I uh, got to. Uh, I don't know if we should take any wedge out. Maybe. No. 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 We we need to we need to leave this car good for the long run, and we're just gonna see what we can do. We're just gonna see what kind of speed we have. No spots lost. No spots gained. Natalie Decker gains a spot. Long with Clay Greenfield. Here we go. Green flags in the air. The third stage is underway. One truck out of the race already. Not sure who that is. Come on, come on. Heavy braking, heavy braking. Natalie's side drafted the heck out of us here. That's all right. That's what she's supposed to do. We got away from her. All right. There's a Spencer Boyd just out ahead of us. Chastain's got a good lead. Looks like about a car length over second place. There's our teammate, Parker Kligerman. Uh, no, I thought about going three wide. Ooh, 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 I had to check up quite a bit there. Yeah, I thought about going three wide. Decided better of that. Kligerman's having a decent run, though. Good, good job, teammate. He's having a decent run. Let's see if he can pick up some more spots. He's currently losing a spot to Spencer Boyd. Alright. Alright, so... I remember what I said where... I forget which turn I'm in. That was a that was a prime example right there. I slowed up way too much for that turn. And... Oh, slightly overdrove this turn, but not, not as bad as I usually do it. Behind our teammate, Parker Kligerman. See what we can do. Don't slow up too much for this turn. All right, that wasn't terrible. Sliding up the track and lose a little bit of grip on the front tires. Yeah, it's it is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, I'll see if I can. Uh, I tried to see if I can go around the outside, but that that just didn't do anything. <laughs> That just didn't do anything. That just made things worse. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get a custom setup for this track. And having to go with the default, like I said, I could really... Ooh, man, they, they're so slow. They're so slow. That was... Not necessarily Parker's fault. That was Kligerman, who's... I'm sorry, not Kligerman. Not necessarily Parker's fault. That was Austin Hill, who's just slow. And, ooh, got bumped up the racetrack by Spencer Boyd. He wants that position back. We're going to fall back to 19th. So it looks like until we figure this track out, until we get good, mate, we're going to be battling with Spencer Boyd. Uh, tried to go around the outside, but it's just 
The, it doesn't feel like these quarters are really made for that. Or, like I said, I just don't have the right setup in here. I don't have a custom setup. This is just basically default medium. I did try to go for a looser setup, but a looser setup caused me to lose it. Coming off of turn number four, I just literally looped the truck directly into the wall, and that's why I started from that's why I'm starting from the back. Alright, heavy brake in here. I had to do some heavy braking for Austin Hill. Austin Hill is just really slow through the corners, looks like. Let's see if I can get to his inside. Not quite. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate I couldn't, couldn't use a custom setup for this track. I would really like one. There isn't, I didn't really find one for Darlington or this track. Not one that I was comfortable with. Oh man, I got right into Austin Hill there. And <laughs> we get into, or Spencer Boy gets into us again, bumps us up the racetrack. It's all right, he's just racing us hard. I don't mind it. But yeah, I can't do anything about about when they when they just slow up through the center of the turn like that. That just kills my momentum. Because I try to hit the brakes so I don't hit them, but if I'm close enough to them, then yeah, there's no amount of braking that's really going to save me from, from hitting them. So I try to go to the outside so I don't hit them, and I'm out of hitting them anyway, and almost wrecking them, as you can see. But that's going to, I guess, provide some anger after the race. We'll talk, we'll apologize to him, even though he should probably just, you know, hit the gas. <laughs> All right. So we caught up to these guys. Yeah, you see there, I was able to kind of avoid them a little bit there. So I try to cut the truck to the outside so I don't hit them. I'm trying not to hit Spencer Boyd, even though he's hit me twice. I'm trying not to hit him. Ooh, a little loose going in that time. It's going to cost us some time. But I'm figuring the track out. I'm figuring this out. That, that That's the goal of this race. I understand that I'm running back here, not where I'm usually running, you know, top 15. But I'm the, the goal is just to try to figure this track out and try to get better at it so that when I come here in future seasons and future games, that I will be better at it. I have very, very little experience on this racetrack. Like shaped like Darlington, does not drive like Darlington. Does not feel at all like Darlington. Alright, let's see if we can work on Spencer Boyd again here. Heavy braking, heavy braking. Carl Edwards! Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Carl Edwards move didn't work for Carl Edwards, so I don't know why I thought it would work for me, but oh well. <laughs> you don't know unless you try. Actually, yeah, you do know. That was just stupid. <laughs> that was just stupid. All right, let's get back to seriously racing now. Speaking of serious racing, do make sure that you check out the NASCAR Thunder 2003 Career Mode, which I do every weekend following the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. We are over halfway through that season now. We're just closing in, closing in on the ending races. We're having some fun, so be sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss it. And as you can see, I'm kind of falling off of Spencer Boyd here, but that's okay. I'm just trying to use this time that I have to figure out the racetrack. And I'm figuring it out pretty well here. I've got no pressure from behind. I might as well try to figure out the racetrack. Okay, so we got light braking here. We can get back on it kind of soon. Running right around the bottom. 
See, what was funny about qualifying... I'll tell you after I get through this turn here. So this is heavy braking. Slow the car way down. Roll through the center. And we can get back on it. The full throttle. Okay. Figuring it out. So what's what was what was surprising and disappointing about qualifying was as I was coming off of turn four here, it felt really good. I said I would have ticked looser. It felt really good, and then as soon as I hit, I didn't even realize what was happening. I was just a slow, lazy spin that I didn't even feel, like I didn't even feel it on the force feedback. It was just like slow, lazy spin, and then I was headed towards the wall, and I was turning right as much as I could, tried to get on the brakes, and pow, right into it. <laughs> Nothing I could do. It was like I didn't even feel it. I didn't even notice I was sideways. Which was really weird, so that was kind of disappointing, and then I just said so I clocked the wall because I was on the brakes. I was like three seconds faster than my fastest lap. I was running like 35 something. Like, I think my fastest lap was like a 35.6 or something like that, but... Alright. Heavy braking. We can outbrake him. Alright. Got around Spencer Boyd here, but I think he's going to have the momentum on the outside because we dropped down a gear. I really, really need to remember next race to go to manual shifting. I really need to remember that. I think next race is Chicago land, so we're going to give this to Spencer. Ooh, tight, tight on his inside there. I was trying to force the issue. I think I can do that now. Side draft. See if we can get the advantage. Heavy braking, heavy braking, heavy braking. Slide job. We got it. Alright, cut him off here. Now to work on Austin Hill. I'm pretty proud of that slide job. If I might say so myself. So we got Austin Hill. I think that's our teammate up there right ahead of him. So running 18th. Harrison Burton taking over the race lead. Wasn't paying attention to when that happened, but look at that. The 18 is now leading this race for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Yellow's out, back or down. And yellow flag is out. Tire problems for the 33 of Josh Remy. Ooh, Ross Chastain caught a little bit of that. But yeah, aggressive went around. And because <laughs> of stupid AI, he just pounds the wall again, causing him to DNF. But yeah, he just... <laughs> came right around off turn number four and the wall was right there and we thought about it we're not gonna pit we're not gonna pit we can't afford to give up these positions and I'm not good enough at this track to Kyle Busch my way up to the front so we're just gonna try to do it here we go green white checker NASCAR overdrive we're gonna let Austin Hill go try to work our way to his inside into turn one all right, heavy braking, heavy braking, heavy braking! Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just... <laughs> I was trying to brake heavily, it just didn't work. All right. Got the position there. Light braking. Inside of our teammate! Good grief. Come on, come on. White flag in the air. One to go for Harrison Burton. Can he hold off the field for one more lap? Parker Kligerman fighting on the outside. We clear our teammate up to 17th. Going to try to work on Austin Hill for 16th. As Harrison Burton is going to come off turn four for the final time. Harrison Burton wins here at Gateway, and we are going to come home 16th. Yes, we're going to come home 16th.
All right, so here are the race results. Harrison Burton is your race winner. He, he, he wins the driving for lineman 200 here at Gateway. Ross Chastain, winner of stage number two, comes in second, followed by Brent Moffitt, crafted one stage number one. And Johnny Sauter rounds out the top five. Friesen Ed Edfigur, Lupton, and Christian Eckes comes in ninth in our arch nemesis. Mason Massey rounds out the top ten. Here is the rest of the field. You can pick out your favorite truck driver. And you see we finished 16th, 25 trucks finished on the lead lap. Gustine looks like he was that issue in stage number two that ended it early. He finished his 27 laps down. And Josh Remy out with a blown tire and pounding the wall massively is also out of the race. Harrison Burton had the fastest lap of the race, no surprise there. <laughs> he also led the most laps of the race, surprisingly leading 16 laps, so he took over stage 3 here pretty early. Dylan Lupton moved up from 32nd, finished 8th, good job Dylan Lupton. And the tough break goes to Gus Dean, like I said, who went out probably with some engine problems early on in the race. That last race wasn't so great. Don't worry about it, it happens to the best of us. So just keep on what you're doing and keep it up. Appreciate it, Tyler. Appreciate it, Tyler. <laughs> I know. I, I just wasn't I wasn't used to the track. I just wasn't used to the track. Next time, I'll be better. Uh, pretty awful driving. Didn't seem to care at all. I did care. I, I just, you know, I also cared that you were going extremely slow in the center of the corner. Just putting that out there. And, I mean, you can go ahead and burn my brats, Parker. I mean, shoot, I'm I'm a vegetarian, so it don't matter. Yeah, I did. Go faster. All right, so here are the point standings after Gateway. As you see, we've dropped down to ninth, but Harrison Burton's moved up to, excuse me, to eighth after his win today. But we have Ross Chastain, Brent Moffat, Granite Finger, oh, Matt Crafted, Austin Hill, your top five, Souter, Friesen, Burton, ourselves, and Tyler Ankrum. <laughs> and, uh,. Rounding out the top 10. We still lead the points with three wins on the season. Grant Enfinger in second with two wins, seven and 10 playoff points. Ross Chastain, Crafton, Austin Hill, Johnny Sauter, Harrison Burton, and Tyler Ankrum are all in the playoffs with, uh, with one win. Needing wins is Brent Moffitt, uh, Stuart Friesen, Sheldon Creed, Ben Rhodes, and Christian Ickes. Uh, they all need wins to get in and needing points to get into the playoffs. Dylan Lupton, Tyler Dipple, Todd Gilliland, Sheldon Creed, and Corbin Forrester. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure you could point your way in. It would have to be a really bad days for like the, the bottom, the bottom, well, anybody in the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think you can point your way in. We got five races left until the playoffs. So I, I don't think I think points are kind of out of the out of the question now. It's like you need a win. <laughs> you need a win at this point. You really need to win because everyone in the playoffs has wins. So, uh, not a great showing at Gateway. No, I'm, I'm just gonna um, just gonna put that out there. Not a great showing at Gateway, as you can see. That it was not a good showing. But over time, I did learn and I did gain experience, which was the goal. That was just the goal to just try to learn and gain experience for the next time I go to Gateway. So I won't have an issue figure out which turn is which. And I understand the braking zones a bit better. I could probably run a whole lot faster. And hopefully I won't loop it during qualifying. <laughs> so And hopefully I can find a custom setup at some point. So so yeah. So we need to figure that out. I um, need to figure out setups on my own to be perfectly honest. But I have no problem shouting out Delta Force Agency or Knee Pit Gaming. You know, either one of those. I, uh, but neither one of them had it. So I couldn't, couldn't do it. Uh, we did get our incentive time contract. So two top 20s within three races we did that um we managed to, to pull that off i was a little bit concerned but uh we did manage to pull that off so good for us we're going to chicago land next weekend which should be fun i like chicago land i do like chicago land i've always kind of liked racing at chicago land as long as i have the engine to do so <laughs> Um, and NASCAR 30 2003, that was not always the case, but and nevertheless, I do like racing at Chicago land, good old Chicago. So, uh, I think that's it guys. That is it. That is it. Like I said, 16th place. It, it is what it is. I will take it. I will take it. Like I said, the, the goal was to be experienced and to get some kind of redemption from the stream that I had <laughs> that awful, awful stream that shall never be mentioned again. Anyway. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's race, or tonight's race, excuse me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy these races, I do them every weekend Fondry following the Gander Outdoor Truck Series. And if you enjoy some cup racing, be sure to follow the NASCAR um, the Thunder 2003 Series. We do that every weekend following the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. So subscribe, click the bell, to turn on notifications so you don't miss it. And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in Chicago.